All right, well, that's been a lot. Let's see if we can wrap this series of videos up. Um, just recapping. So we went in and we cleaned up the default form by deleting the stuff we didn't need to. We modified our index HTML page to be what we wanted it to be. And we created a second view called the dating application, which had a form on it. And we linked from the index HTML from that index page to that form. Now I haven't done it. When we run our app right now, this is kind of bugging me, so maybe we'll just fix this here as well as anywhere. It's still showing privacy and privacy. And so um, this link in particular, I want to take to dating application. And so I can go in and, and in my shared layout, I can change that link wherever it is to where it says privacy. I can say the action I actually want is the, uh, let's see, dating application. And then I can change the, the word here to be dating application that they can click on. And so now when I run this, this will not bug me anymore. And that'll take us to that. Well, I guess it won't take us to that form. Did I put a space in there? I did. Okay, so let's get rid of that. And then the privacy, we can just say for now, we don't have a privacy policy. I'm going to just get rid of these these things and just make it a regular old. Um, I don't mind the, having the word privacy there, but I'm going to get rid of the link itself and just leave the word privacy. And then we can, if we add a privacy policy later, we can add that in. But um, anyway, now it'll look better to where we click on this link and it actually takes us to that dating application. All right, so we got that built to be able to link to it. But then the information wasn't being stored, so we created a model to be able to store that, that information. And again, this is just a regular old class. We're creating an instance of the class that's going to store each of these pieces of memory, or each of these pieces of information in memory as it's created. Then we linked the model to the form by using these ASP4 tags, and now we're receiving that information. And here's the cool part. Here's kind of the, the wrap up and, and what I think is cool with this. Now that we've got this information loaded up into a form that's being posted in our post version of the dating application view, meaning once the information is posted, I can in my home controller then take the information that's in there and do something with it. And so, okay, this is maybe a little little bit of a, a preview. I don't want, to, don't want you to get too crazy with this, but I can take this response and I can say, you know what? Actually, um, I can do a couple things with it. First of all, I can say um, in the view, so if you look at the view and you hover over it and it says there's three overloads to it, if I click on the view, it's going to show me that I can pass in uh, nothing and it will return the, the name of the action. I can pass in the view name. I can pass in a model. Uh, where's the one? Or I can pass in the view name and a model. So I can call this view method and I can pass in different things to it to make it do what it needs to do. And so in this case, I'm going to take this confirmation screen and I'm just going to pass along the response that I got from the user. And so now the confirmation screen can access that by coming in here and saying, yeah, I actually want to use the model um, application as well. And it will receive that application into the screen now because it was passed by my controller to this confirmation view. It passes in the response to that view. And then in the confirmation, I can now say, instead of just saying thank you, I can say thank you, comma, at, and then I can go to the model by typing in model with a capital M dot and then whatever their first name is where's first name all right i run that and now 
when they fill out an application, it will say, thank you, yada. It got that information from the form that was posted to the home controller that I then passed along to another view. This view was set up then, the confirmation to receive that information, and now I can use the information that was passed in however I want to in this view. And then I can start using the, the C sharp aspect of Razor code to start making decisions. So I can actually do something like this. I can say if, so, oh, sorry, I gotta use an at sign to, to indicate it's gonna be Razor code. If the information that came in from that model, the creeper stalker aspect, if the creeper stalker is false, then yeah, I'll do this. I'll take and say, thank you for uh, receiving the application and um, give that then that information. But otherwise, else, if the creeper stalker is false, I can say something like, oh shoot, my bad. I actually forgot that I'm already in a relationship. Um, but I have a friend who I think would be perfect for you. And then, you know, later on, insert your worst enemy's phone number here. Okay, so now we can use that information to make decisions. So when I submit this form, if the creeper stalker is set to yes, it will automatically say, oh shoot, my bad, I forgot that I'm already in a relationship, but I have a friend who I think would be perfect for you. Or if I come back to this application, fill it out and it's a no, then it will make the decision application received, thank you. And so we can start to make decisions based on that information that's coming in. Up next, in the next series of videos, we're actually gonna go put this into a database where we can store it and pull it from the database. Should be lots of fun, but hopefully you're starting to see kind of how quickly we can put something together. And again, this is all gonna take time. I don't expect you to just <laughs> know this right off the bat. This takes time. But if you can start to familiarize yourself with this idea of a model and we bind the model to a form the user submits the form, we grab that information, and then we can do stuff with it, including either doing something with it in the controller itself or passing that information along to do something with it. Then uh, we start to get the foundation for what we can really do in these uh, MVC apps. So good stuff. See you next time. Spencer out.